Hi, this is Scott West with Mug & Ask St. Louis Acura. Thanks so much for joining us. Now today I have the unique privilege of showing you guys the all new 2014 Acura MDX. Now the Acura MDX is the most popular model in Acura's lineup. And in a moment, I'm going to go ahead and take you guys on a short tour of the exterior. We're gonna go over the interior features as well as take you guys on a short test drive to show you just how well this vehicle handles on the open road. Now Acura designers have spent a great deal of time softening the exterior of the MDX while also making this vehicle instantly recognizable as an Acura. For example, the front shield grille is actually softened up a bit and it's very tasteful for 2014. And you'll also notice that the MDX shares the same jewel eye LED headlamps with the RLX, which is Acura's new flagship sedan. Now moving around to the side of the MDX, you can really see where designers gave the MDX a very strong muscular stance. And part of that is uh, characterized in this bold shoulder line here. And then also you can see the, the lower character line as highlighted by these side moldings uh, that are optional, as well as uh, the side running board, which really just helps give the MDX a much more you know, masculine look. As we move around the rear of the MDX, you're gonna notice that Acura designers spent just as much time on the rear of the vehicle as it in the front, just to make this vehicle look that much more stylish than last year's model. For example, you're gonna see that there's a beautiful integrated rear spoiler. Um, also, the use of chrome is, uh, is very good back here. There's not too much of it. There's just a little bar up here and then down by the exhaust finishers, or actually where the exhaust finishers would be. For 2014, they are hidden behind the bumper. They're kind of back down below. And that's something that you're gonna see on all Acura models across the lineup. Now, my favorite feature on the MDX is the power rear lift gate, and that just makes loading and unloading the MDX that much easier. Now for 2014, the MDX is powered by Acura's 3.5 liter V6 that produces 290 horsepower. This engine is mated to a six-speed automatic transmission with sport shift automatic capabilities. And the MDX is also available in either front wheel drive or all wheel drive configurations. Now our test car came today with the super handling all wheel drive system. And as equipped, this MDX achieves 18 miles per gallon in the city 27 on the highway with an EPA estimated fuel economy average of 21 miles per gallon. Now, as soon as you climb inside the all new 2014 MDX, first thing that'll strike you is just how spacious and comfortable everything is. Now, Acura interiors are some of the best interiors in the marketplace, and the one here inside the MDX is no exception. I've, there's a lot of RLX influence in here. First of all, you'll see that the steering wheel is basically the one straight off the RLX. Um, all, the in, all the same controls are here. Uh, they're very intelligently laid out, very easy to use. Also like the, uh, the uh, steering wheel mounted paddle shifters uh, for manual control over the uh, MDX's six-speed automatic transmission. Really like though is uh, the dual tiered LCD displays. Now the one in the top is your information display, uh, that's eight inches. Then this one down here is seven inches, but what this is really supposed to do, and it's, uh, it's quite a design change, is um, it helps kind of clean up the center stack, if you will. Uh, a lot of the climate controls um, and a lot of the radio controls are uh, able to be controlled directly through the uh, touch screen here. And it also features haptic feedback, which means as you press uh, one of the virtual buttons on screen, you actually can feel it with your hands. It's pretty cool. Let's not forget that the 2014 Acura MDX is still a three row SUV. And Acura has your back when it comes to the third row passengers. There's a really nifty uh, power release for the, uh, for the second row that allows your third row passengers very easy access. Now when you first sit inside the Acura MDX, there's two things that you notice right away besides the fact that you're very comfortable, is that the interior is extremely quiet. I don't hardly hear anything on the outside of the car. That, and there really aren't any blind spots in this vehicle at all. Um, Acura did a really good job of making sure that your exterior is covered very well by the mirrors. And they've also given you a rear backup camera uh, so that you can see objects um, behind you uh, that you don't back up over them. It also makes parking a lot easier. Now the handling, I wanna talk about the handling for a second because again, this is a pretty good sized vehicle, but because of the super handling all wheel drive system that we have, plus the 19 inch rims uh, from the uh, technology package, it just gives this vehicle a really glued and planted driving characteristic. I mean, the car is basically on rails and that's something that you really can't say about most seven passenger SUVs. Now acceleration 
is actually quite good. I know you can pretty pretty well hear that uh, engine note, and that engine note is uh, just glorious. I mean, it's uh, <laughs> it just kind of gets you. Um, but what I like about it is this car is very well refined. It's extremely refined, and it's uh, it's very comfortable to drive. Um, and again, it is quiet, but it's very sporty when you want it to be. All you got to do is just kind of step on it, and then it's like the whole personality of the car just changes, and that's that's pretty good. I also want to talk about the integrated dynamic system uh, that comes available on the uh, Acura MDX. Now, what that does is that will allow you to basically change the uh, driving characteristics of the car on the fly, and you can choose between comfort, normal, and sport. Now, comfort, what that's going to do, obviously, is uh, that's going to make the steering, um, you know, it's not really going to provide you a whole lot of feedback, and it's just going to be very easy, make the car easy to maneuver. Um, the suspension settings are going to be um, more along the soft side, uh, so it's going to soak up all the bumps. Um, and then also the, uh, the normal, that's basically just the baseline of the vehicle. When you start the car, it's going to start in normal. Now, sport, this is where things get interesting. Now, the suspension tightens up, and the steering actually tightens up quite a bit. And uh, it doesn't make the car hard to turn or anything like that, but what it does is it provides the maximum amount of feedback you can possibly get out of the Acura MDX. That, and uh, if you drop it down into sport, and this is, I'm talking about the six-speed automatic transmission. There's the regular drive, and you also have your sport mode. Uh, with paddle shifters, okay, which uh, is quite nice. Now, uh, I'm going to use those real quick. I'm in second. I just upshifted to third. It upshifted quite nicely. And um, it'll actually allow me to kind of hold the gears through the corner, which I uh, think is quite nice. I just kind of did that there. But it uh, just makes this car a very engaging to drive. So, you know, dads out there or moms, you know, if uh, you drop the kids off and you want to you have a little bit of fun, you can do it in this car and you can do it uh, relatively safely. Uh, there are a lot of driver aids to kind of help you uh, stay on the road and also um, kind of look out for you as you drive. For example, and, you know, if the car thinks you're getting a little bit too close, maybe within two car lengths, it'll go ahead and prompt you to brake. So it gives me an audible beep plus um, a warning on, on the uh, multi-information display here uh, in the instrument cluster. It'll kind of flash at me, you know, brake. So that'll, that'll tell me, kind of alert me as a driver, say, hey, you might want to slow down. Just something the car does, and I believe that is something you might be able to turn off. Now I'm just going to go ahead and just punch it. Alright, so this car does come equipped with VTEC. You know, that of course is a Honda and Acura thing. And in this car, VTEC kicks in right around 5100, 5200. It throws onto that extra VTEC lobe, and um, you know, the valves just open up and the engine just comes to life. And uh, that was pretty cool. Okay, now lane departure warning. Uh, this car does come equipped with it, and uh, you can toggle whether you want it on or off, but I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit uh, too close to the right lane here. Okay, so you probably got the vibration there too, so um, I got a little audible beep telling me that, you know, I'm, I'm drifting out of my lane. So that is nice as a driver aid, and that is something that you can toggle on and off. The other thing that I have is I have a blind spot monitor here. And uh, that'll, that'll kind of just indicate that there is, a, there is a vehicle that I can't see behind me. And uh, the mirrors, like, like I said, the mirrors in this car do a really good job of giving you, you know, total vehicle coverage. And there is a, a separate section over here. You can see a little line over here. I'm not sure if you can pick it up on that camera. But there's a little line um, that divides basically like it goes about 80% over in the mirror. And then that extra 20%, that outer 20%, is kind of a wide angle so that's going to give me um, extended visibility of my blind spot well that's all that we have time for today we really hope that you enjoyed our review of the 2014 acura mdx be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and like us on facebook i'm scott west thanks for watching